Hello and welcome to another of Mrs. Patnell's phonics videos. I am going to start by showing you the flashcards for the sounds that you already know. Excuse me. And then I'm going to teach you some tricky words today before we play pick a picture where we try blending a word and matching it with the picture it matches, and then we'll read a couple of sentences to finish. So, flashcards first of all for all the sounds that you already know. So we have got get the action, and we have got p, 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 t, 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 a, 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 d, d, play your drum, d, 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 with your arms out to the side. And the sound you learnt yesterday, eh, when you break those eggs, eh, eh. Right, so they are all the sounds we now know. We'll need to use those to help us with blending for pick a picture game later. Now I'm going to show you these two tricky words first of all, okay? Now, they're on clouds here. They are words where part of it is often tricking you and part is helping you. But in this particular word and at this particular point in our phonics, this whole word is tricky, okay? Now we know that it is um, a t. We don't even know this letter yet in the middle, do we? But that one I teach you will be a h. And this one we learned yesterday is e. Now, when these three letters are together, they make this tricky word, okay? So when you see t, h, and e, and you will get used to seeing them the more and more I show you the flashcards, you need to poke your tongue out for this word and say the, the, okay? So it's not the with a v sound, it is the. So your tongue must come out the, okay? I went to the shops. I went to the hairdressers, although some time ago. I went to the park, okay? So the, this is the tricky word the. You cannot blend this tricky word, okay? Because all of it is tricking you at the moment. You have to just know that when you see it and you see t, h, and e together, you can't blend t, h, e, doesn't make a word. It's the tricky word the. So you remember you poke your tongue out and say the. Okay, now our other tricky word isn't quite so bad because the first sound is helping us on this tricky word today. It's just this letter that's being tricky, okay? So the first sound is t, 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 t. So we know our word is going to begin with a t sound because that is helping us. But this tricky o isn't making its usual o sound. So it's not t, o, t, o. It's being tricky and making an oo sound. So I'm going to give it... Oh, where's my pen? I'm going to give it a sound button for the helpful t, okay? But then I'm going to give it a jiggly line to remind you that the o oh is not being an o, oh, it's being the tricky oo sound, okay? So the jiggly line, albeit flying off over here, is telling you it's tricky and it's making an oo sound. So t, oo, t, oo, to. I am going to the park. I am going to the hairdressers. I am going to the shops. Okay, so this is to. This word will pop up so much in your reading books and you'll want to write it a lot when you start writing sentences. But you must remember, first sound is helping you, t, but then this is being tricky, making an oo sound. So to, to. So that is to. And this one, put your tongue out and say the. So the and to, and I guarantee that both of these words will probably pop up in our sentences at the end of this lesson. So the, with your tongue poking out, the, and to, okay? Right, so that's our tricky words of, our, of the day. Now, let's have a go then at looking at pick a picture. So I'm gonna tidy up my table here and tilt the camera so you can see the table. 
okay? Let's pop down our pictures and our words. So I am going to put down on the table um, four pictures. Oh, there we go. So I'm popping down a picture of a pig, okay? I'm popping down a picture of a neck on a giraffe, okay? I'm gonna tilt this a little bit more. There we are. And I'm going to put down a picture of a tick. If you get something right, then the teacher gives you a tick. So that's a tick. Shall we go for a fourth to make it extra tricky? Okay, I'm gonna put down a picture of a sock. Okay, so let's put down the sock. Or not, we can't see it. Let's shuffle them around a little bit. Okay, we can see all four now. So we've got a peg, we've got a sock, we've got a neck, and we've got a tick. Okay, now this is the word that we are going to be blending, all right? We are blending this word to work out which picture matches this word, okay? Now it's all single sounds. I'm not going to add sound buttons because they're all single sounds, okay? You've got to work out the sounds and try and squeeze them together to make the word that they are that they read and then decide which word it is and match it, okay? So have a good look at this one. I'll bring it closer to the camera. Your first sound is p. Your next sound is e from yesterday. And then your last sound is g. So you've got to blend them together. So you have got p, e, g, p, e, g, peg. It is peg. Which one does it match? Which picture does it go with? If it's a peg, it goes with this one. There we go. So those two could go off together as a um, pair. Right, so let's add another picture to this. Let's have a pen. Let's put a pen in instead. So we've got a pen, a sock, a neck, and a tick, okay? Now the next one, I'm going to add sound buttons too because it does contain a diagram. Okay, and I don't want you to forget that. So, here is our next word card, okay? All right, now you can see that it's got two single sounds with sound buttons, then it's got a cradle here, which means both of these sounds work together to make one sound, okay? So it's two letters, but they're only going to make one sound, all right? So if I bring it up a bit closer to the camera, you have got N, E, from yesterday and then k, n e k, n e k. What does that blend? N e k. Which one are we matching that with? Which picture are we going to pick to go with n e k? It should be this one of the giraffe's neck. N e k, neck. So if you pointed to the giraffe, you are a superstar. You have matched it up with the right word. Okay, only three pictures left now. The pen, the sock, the tick. Now, this is going to be our next word. I'm gonna put sound buttons and a cradle for the digraph, okay? So here is your next word, all right? And there will be a picture that matches with this word. You've got two single sounds and a sound digraph, two letters coming together to make only one sound. So you have got sock. Sock. What is your word? Point to the picture that we have just read the word for. You're going to have to blend it together a little bit more to work out which one it is. Which one does it match? Sock. Sock. It's a sock. So hopefully you picked this picture because that is the sock. Sock. They go together. Okay, two pictures left now. So let's go with, let's go with this one. These are all single sounds, so I'm not going to add sound buttons, okay? This word will match one of these pictures. You've got to decide which one it matches. Look at those three single sounds and blend them together. We've got E n p e n p e n. Which one does it match? Which one are we trying to blend? Which picture do you want to point to? Hopefully, you have pointed to this one. For it is p e n pen. It is the pen. So those two go together. 
which means our last one left is t -ick, t -ick, tick. And there we do, we have a tick. So they match together, tick. Fantastic, if you got even one of those right, then I am so pleased because that is reading words and doing a very, very tricky old game there already after only this short space of time, okay? So that's marvellous. Okay, I have a sentence for you. Now, it's quite long, so we're going to read it together. I'll put it here so that if you want to pause the video first and have a go at some or all of the words, you absolutely can, which would be fantastic. But I'm going to have a go at reading it with you now, okay? We're going to work on it together. So we've got a capital letter here. It is a capital D, all right? You've got to get used to seeing those capital letters and working out what one what ones make what sound. So we have a capital D here. We have it punctuated with a question mark. So it is a question and it has lovely finger spaces in between each word. So we've got D ID. D ID. Did. Oh, there's our tricky word of the day that we had on a cloud just now. Here it is. There's our tricky word and it's popped up here. It's the one where we have to poke our tongue out and say the, the, the. So it's the, did the, k id, k id, kid, did the kid, g et, g et, get. Tricky word, the other tricky word of the day, there it is. Helping you at the beginning, making an oo sound. So t, oo, to. Did the kid get to s, it, s, it, sit, on, on. Oh, it's a tricky word again. We had it here, and we had it here. If it's to, her, eh, we can't blend it. We have to poke a tongue out and say the. So the, p, ig. Pig. Did the kid get to sit on the pig? And there's your question. It has a question mark there. Who knows if the kid got to sit on the pig, but it doesn't sound very comfortable, does it? Okay, let's try this one. This one's a bit shorter. That one was an absolutely massive sentence, wasn't it? Right, you can pause the video if you feel confident to have a go at reading it by yourself, and that would be great. But I'm going to read it with you now, okay? Capital A. When it's by itself, it's the word a. A cat. Cat. A cat and. And. A dog. 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 Dig. 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 A cat and a dog dig. Oh, cat and a dog dig. That's a lot of does in the end of that sentence. Okay, our last one. I wouldn't do all three, but this one's actually quite short, so I think you can give it a go. Pause the video if you want to do it by yourself. This is a capital T, so you've got a tricky word, T, H, E, tricky word of the day at the beginning. Boink! But it looks different because this one has a capital T at the beginning because it's the start of our sentence, okay? But it's the same word. So, put your tongue out and say, the, m, a, n, m, a, n, man, is, is, s, i, k, diagraph cut on the end, s, i, k, sick, the man is sick, fantastic, if you got any of that right, I am over the moon with you, when I think about where we started only a few weeks ago, only like four weeks ago, to know that you could read those sentences now and pick those pictures to match with the sounds you know is amazing. You're doing so very well. I'm so proud. Give yourself a pat on the back. And I will see you tomorrow when we have a brand new phase two sound. Take care. Bye-bye.